It's not only being a president, no, the caring of the whole country is the only thing on earth. And being president is one of the most boring thing ever in the world because everybody will know your name. You have enemies, you have people that doesn't like you, you have people that want to kill you. You can be a musician, you can do other things and you can be happy in your own life, make a great family and you can te even teach your kids. Because you did homeschool. Even when you're homeschool, it doesn't mean like you need to go to Europe space to go and make things Money like that. No, you just make a happy life. Happy life. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our video. Actually, even when you're in the house, you can have very good things. And also, you can have a very good future. Yeah. To be honest with you, parents, yeah. please take your your daughter to or your school. son to school. Mm -hmm. ah. I think that is the best. Actually, I still prefer homeschool. Because going to school, because some, some students, they yeah. don't want to learn. Unless the teacher beats you so that you can learn. I so you want to learn. Yeah. This, the teacher is not going to beat you. Anyway, um, Ami? And anyway, even if the teacher beats you, also that makes you scared of asking him questions. Mm -hmm. So you learn less. Yes. And also, <laughs> and also, when the teacher is not beating you, but he is telling you something that you know, you know that you want to learn it, then you'll be focused on it. People that doesn't want to learn, even when the teacher beats them, it changes nothing. And all what they will keep on saying is this bad teacher, I'll never learn from him. Even when you're angry, tell her, hold up, 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 You even, you even tell me, even when you're at school and your teacher beats you, force you to do something, what do you say? I'm never going to do it. Never. Obviously, obviously I did it because he's giving me instructions to do it so I'm doing it if I didn't do it it's my future because he already finished school yeah. he do, he have what he ever what he have but for me I am not I don't even begin but it's possible that that teacher was never beaten and now he's beating you or threatening you, know, you we have a teachers we have different kind of teachers yes calm teachers aggressive teachers and wicked teachers yes so calm teachers and among these three which one do you like for me <laughs> I like the ones is very calm uh -huh. yeah okay um, so yes Okay, so now you like the ones that are calm and you are telling us that homeschool ones are too calm and also they should be beating you at school. Yeah, the thing I'm saying, wait a minute, the thing I'm saying is, yeah. that is students that don't want to learn. So you must beat them so that they can learn. But beating is not a solution. Yeah, if, but if you, look, if you don't want to learn, hey, Musu, if you don't want to learn, whatever they do, if you are not interested in it, your mind is not on it, you can never learn it. Except if you grow up and you want to learn and you know now, really this was important in my life, then you will learn it as fast as you can. But if you don't want to learn something, you will not learn it. The teacher uh, will be you know, yeah. Wait a minute, uh, yeah. you know, the, some teachers, Camera, you, you know, what, some teachers always say that Yo, so buku te janga, you know, smart class, you buka janga, then talk, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. you are telling this. What does that mean, actually? Means that mm -hmm. if you want to learn, mm -hmm. you can stay. If you don't want to learn, yeah. get out from my class. You know, but at home, you know, at home, it, it must be a force for you to learn because your parents are paying and they must see that teacher. And whenever your teachers come, your parents will force you to go and learn. But in the case of school, you know, teachers can send you out whilst your parents are not even aware and you will never tell your parents that today this so so, -so teachers send me out from, from, from his or her class. That means the um, student is wicked. The student? He, 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 he or her is not helping the parents. VM International TV. But anyway, look even in the classes. You can see all the students will hate the English teacher yeah. or the French teacher because mm -hmm. even the students will end up by knowing that the teacher is not saying something that is true. Yeah. Or Else, you see all of the students when they come out, they'll be like, hey, this teacher in the class is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. only that we understand nothing. <laughs> and they'll never tell the teacher because they'll never have the advantage to tell the teacher because they are scared the teacher will Definitely. beat them. Yeah. But when he's at the house, if you don't understand, you will ask the teacher mm -hmm. and the teacher will not just tell you, why do we ask me and take the, uh, just something and beat you. Yeah. He will not do that. But when he's in the class mm -hmm. and you are asking, no, I don't understand this. No, I don't understand and it's no you don't talk clearly talk louder the teacher will be like hey don't mabuga yap so you see how you're gonna... so, all i want to say is don't forget to like and subscribe and
search the random bell below. So, body feel the lulu. And of course, this is VM Kids. So, um, remember, we are coming up with full force because we believe that we can do it. Nobody can stop us because we believe in our destiny. So, if you also believe in your destiny, definitely you will make it, and nobody gonna stop you. So, we hope that we will come back another time. But also, um, you can follow us live on YouTube. Most of our full videos will be published live on YouTube. So therefore, subscribe if you are watching us on YouTube. Um, subscribe and turn the bell so that whenever we publish a video, um, if you are not the first, you will not be the last to watch our activities. And if you really want to learn, do subscribe. And of course, if you are watching our highlights on Facebook, please remember to go down to YouTube and watch it. Wato tigede ala bulu kondi ngo diki jalka follow wo uleri ndi ngo nyi ala wo diki jalka follow de vm so nyancho bije djoks bije vm bije Everybody, welcome back to another show. This is the show where we normally um, invite the kids to come over and to express their feeling, especially um, some of the issues that can be complicated. Um, today we're gonna have a debate. Um, I have my co-presenter. He's called um, Samba, right? Um, Samba will be my co-presenter for today and these two are going to be the um, opponents but before we go into that um, I will definitely give them the mic for them to introduce themselves and from there we are going to introduce the topic of debate that we're gonna discuss um, first of all um, let's start it from you your name and your age and tell us um, why you are here on VM Kids Show Hi everyone, I'm Ami and I'm 11 years old. And I'm Laura. hi everyone, I'm Ami and I'm 11 years old and I'm here and you're ready, yeah? Yeah, I'm ready. That's fine. Um, your name again? My name is Musu Passaway and I'm 16 years old. Oh, Musu, you have a nice name. I love that name. I wish you love that name too. Yes, um, my co-presenter, are you ready? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Then introduce yourself. <laughs> My name is Samba Pazio. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mungamian old today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but many people say that you are a fuller and then you look like, um, I don't know, Nar. You know, that's what people say. Are you? I'm not a Nar, I'm not a fuller. Then. So, I'm what are you? I'm a mixture, French mixture. and Gambian. Yeah. Okay, that's beautiful. A French and a Gambian. But where are you exactly? I'm born here. You're born here. Where are you exactly? I'm here. You're here. <laughs> so for those of you who are watching in French, we are here. And you're watching us live on VM International TV. Today the debate is going to be very hot. Of course, Samba and I is going to be Nafiko. And of course, they are going to be the component. They are everyone going to be fighting. First of all, we want to know school and home. Which one is the best place to learn? Let's start before we give them the, the space to go. Do you, have, do you think the school or home, which one is the best place for you to learn? For me, I've done both. Okay. I think they are both good. They are both good. Now you see on their opinion and see which one is the best. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so tell us exactly which category are you going to support? Are you going to support the school or are you going to support the home? Actually, I'm going to support the school. The school? Yeah. 
And what about you? Home. Home. Okay. Now I think we she said it is it's like she's going to win. <laughs> yeah, she has confidence. Home. <laughs> <laughs> well, my beautiful audience, please you can also drop your comments if you think the topics is going to hit you. Please drop the comments. Um we might be nafiko, but correct us if we are also wrong. So let's start it from Musu Musu. Yeah. Why do you think that going to school is the most beneficial than staying at home reading your books? Um actually going to school um is very important mm-hmm. because and um, because it and uh, it help you mm-hmm. to know many things in the in the school. Example, I'm um, going to school like you are going to have a lot of friends and then uh, you're going to te- you going to learn many uh, many things. Um, bef- um I didn't So know you I want th- to tell me that when you're at home you cannot learn many things. Anyway, let let us hear from her. Why home first? Okay, why well, I decide home because mm-hmm. the first of all is that when you are in school every time you need to ask your friends sometimes you cheat from mm-hmm. them so you don't even learn nothing enters in the brain okay. but you are when you are in the house mm-hmm. you have everything and you need to understand by yourself because there's no one beside that you should ask okay. so you are right there all by yourself you should do it. and then you should do your home studies also all alone yeah is That's why actually. So do you agree? No, I d- agree. Why? Because I can say that um school in going to school is more important being in, um being at home. home. Because you need um you, if you're doing exam like if you're in this um house how can you do your exam? How can you have your documents, your papers? You know, you know we have to look on that. Mm-hmm. So going to school is level by level yeah. until grade 12 <clears throat> you have your certificate, have your good results so that you can have Uh, you can go to university and all the countries or maybe you can have scholarship and also but if you are in uh, in the house you cannot have those things because you are learning but you are not having what you want to have in the hmm. future it could be it seems like it's going to be interesting here samba yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, i think this is really interesting <laughs> yeah, definitely huh? well um you have heard of that mm-hmm. do you have anything to just knock her down Actually I think home school is better because even if you are in home school that doesn't mean that you'll never be at school and also to be in the home school is very very good be first of all wake up in the morning go to school you waste your time mm-hmm. sometimes you can even have an accident on the way yeah. so then you just lose your life but when you're in the house you have no accident and you'll be doing your things even if you're having sickness you can read your book that you you can even do your home exercise that you will understand properly is better than when you go to school then people will be there teaching you stuff your friends that you You will not even understand nothing. You just write, give it to the teacher, and the teacher will say, "Yeah, it's correct." And when it's time to do your homework, you don't even understand nothing to do. So then you need to text your friends. Mm. And when they tell you that I am busy, you are done. Woo! Yeah, this is ending. Ending. So um, okay. you know, she talk about so many things. Anyway, yeah. she talk about accidents. She talk about bad friends that that can easily influence you. And which we are seeing in the school. Look at the young people that are going to school, getting pregnant. You know, having accidents. You know, mingling with teachers. And at the end of the day, we even seen teachers abusing, you know, the students. So, do you think she have a point on that? Yeah, I think she really has a point on that. Com- com- compared to her. I'm not seeing yet. She she's just starting. <laughs> I'm gonna let's win in. Okay, but I'm Okay, we go back. Okay, as she said that yeah. accidents and um bad friends. Yeah. Your parents took you to school mm-hmm. not for um going with your friends, mm-hmm. not for having a sex with your teachers, mm-hmm. not for boyfriend or mm-hmm. girlfriend in the school. Yeah. They brought you in school so that you can learn, so that you can make them proud yeah. and you can because we are the future of tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, exactly. But if you are at home too, you can have the same future. No, if you are at home, yeah. you cannot have the future. You can have some of the future, but yeah. you cannot have exactly the, the future. The full future. Yeah, because you have to go to school mm-hmm. so that you can impress yourself. Mm. You can have your certificate. Uh-huh. The thing I'm saying that right now, grade nine, you <laughs> must, you must learn. You must uh, study well so that you can have your uh, credit, your nine credit. Yeah. Isn't that something excitable? Of course, it is. Yeah, that thing I'm telling you because um, in the house it helps you. Do you need to come in? Yes. Anyway, so now 
here we go. The parents take the kids to school mm -hmm. so that they learn. Yeah. But the kids don't take themselves to school so mm -hmm. that they learn. They mm -hmm. just take themselves there to cheat. Mm -hmm. So when you're in the house, your parents are right there checking at you so you cannot be cheating. Mm -hmm. But a lot of kids, when they're in the school, they just keep on cheating. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 Kadi, 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 yeah. what's this? What is this? So Kadi tells them, and at the end of the day, they learn nothing. Mm -hmm. And so later, they cannot even have their birth certificate or something like yeah. that. Sorry, so not birth you, seem, you seem dad. Okay, what she said. Yeah. You know. And, and, and now, if you look at it, Samba, a lot of students love kidding. They don't study. And, you know, let's assume that if you are at home and your father is street, definitely you will study. You, study, yeah. you understand? Because you will say that my daddy is street and my daddy will love to know exactly what I'm doing. But if you are going to school, your parents don't care again to check what you are doing at school. In fact, some of the parents that we have seen before, when they drop you or when, they, um, when you go to the school and they register you for the first time, they will never go there again until the end of the term, which is not encouraging. But if, if a teacher is coming to your child's house, teaching her, automatically you will see that teacher. And if that teacher comes with bad attitude whatsoever, you will definitely notice it even before your child will know. So do you think um, homeschool is far more better than going to school? They are both really good, actually. <clears throat> Musol has a point. Yeah. What she means is like uh, when you have friends in the class, yeah. you always want to compete. Yeah. You want to see who's the best. Mm -hmm. So it brings competition. It makes people want to do more. Yeah. But when you're also alone at the house, yeah. you don't have much friends to compete with. So you'll be lonely. But never mind, your mind will be there with you. Yeah. You know, you know, like you will be battling with your mind. Your mind will say, look, I want to do this because Musu is having nine credit. So I must make sure that I, um, I do more than what Musu is doing. I don't know. Whether you understand you know, so okay VM, you know VM, mm -hmm. the what the homeschool yeah like we are talking about the homeschool yeah. and the school yeah if you're in homeschool, you know, homeschool is more far better than you wait homeschool mm -hmm. if you're in homeschool how you have a, like a friend closer to the friend like homeschool is going to make you boring really yeah it's gonna make you boring you'll say that every day I'm studying but I don't have who is beside me to encourage me like doing competition spellings yeah. and the others but in school, you have competition spellings, you have this kind of clubs, mm -hmm. you pray around. Mm -hmm. But in homeschool, you didn't have it. You were in school, but they didn't take you in school just to play. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. they took you in school just mm -hmm. to know knowledge, just yeah. to have the knowledge yeah. to get to school. Mm -hmm. So are you lonely at home? Why Are you re really lonely like how she's saying? Actually, I'm not really lonely. I am learning goodly. Mm -hmm. So even if in when you are at home school, that doesn't mean that you are not going to know nothing. Mm -hmm. You are not also going to have no friends. Okay. Yeah. So um, my beautiful audience, like I tell you, this is VM Kids Show. Um, VM Kids Got Talent also will be coming December 25th. Um, we will advise you to always comment um subscribe and always share whatever we're doing because we are here to educate we and we believe that we can do as much as we can so let's keep um you know the ball rolling um you know believing in yourself you can make it anywhere destiny has no choice destiny is just a matter of um you know believing in yourself inside so you she said she's not lonely and you said being at home you can be lonely boring that's what you said and she for said me, she's not for me in school i prefer school you prefer school yeah because but right why now, why because right now mm -hmm. what i want to have i'm having it in yeah. school okay yeah so i am making my parents to proud of me somehow proud of me uh, proud of me somehow you, yes you somehow. somehow yeah somehow <laughs> because yeah. I am learning mm -hmm. and also they are helping me, they're yeah. encouraging me. At this grade nine, mm -hmm. may maybe inshallah yeah. I'm gonna pass it. Oh no, you're gonna have we, I'm we, gonna we, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> pass it. That's what we are saying, school <laughs> maybe. Yeah. maybe. Anyway, <laughs> even if in you're at school, if you don't have no friends, your mom and your dad and your brain and your courage are always your friend yeah. beside you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, what she said, what she said is good. Yeah. What she said is good is good. But in school too, you have your teachers beside you. I'm not talking about a teachers that is bad yeah. that tell you that. You know, some of the teachers. But, but do you know that now we have bad teachers, more yeah. bad teachers than good teachers? You know, some teachers? of the teachers yeah. they, they they used to threaten you that give me this money or come to studies so that 
because they see something in you attracting yeah. them so they need it yeah. but they didn't need your money mm-hmm. they just threatening you if you didn't come to my classes you are go- you're not going to do your exam you're not going to do it. Mm-hmm. you know in school too there's a lot of teachers that are so bad yeah. but we have a teachers that they are good Definitely. and they like students mm-hmm. they like coming with a bringing the ch- um, students so that they can have some like a story mm-hmm have some opinion so that they can give them more opinion yeah. and learning about that mm-hmm. but in homeschool yeah. I what she said your mom will be there your dad will be there not always mm-hmm. understand yeah. not always your mom is going to be sometimes you be, be alone with your study teacher mm-hmm. your, while your parents went to work yeah. but they will not know what is going on between you and the study teacher mm-hmm. because he or she is threatening you mm-hmm. but in homes in the school yeah. you have a lot of friends mm-hmm. and then what Whatever you do, one mm. of your friends must know it. Yeah. Understand? Mm-hmm. You may tell the um, police or your parents that or, your or daughter, principal. yeah, your daughter is, um, he's mm. doing, he or she is doing something. But I want you to know it so that the end of the day you can know what is going on between your daughter and the school or the principal. Yeah. And also there's principal that are wicked mm-hmm. and they lay like girls for maximum. Ooh. Yeah. So mm. you heard that anyway. I mean, yeah. before I will give the floor to Samba. Um, what is your take on that concerning about what she said? Actually, even if you are at the house, mm-hmm. I prefer still being homeschooling. Yeah, sometimes you can have bad things from the teachers at home, but also sometimes even you go to school and you see the teachers, they are not even teaching you something correct. Yeah. But when your mom and dad at the house, mm-hmm. even when they are not, but you know what is correct because most of the time they are there, so your teacher will be mm-hmm. teaching you something correct. So you will know what is correct. Yeah. But even... When you are at the um, school, your mm. mom and dad will not be here. Sometimes the teacher will just tell you the full class something not uh, horrible. horrible yeah. And the full class will think that yes, it's true. Mm. Whilst it's not true. Okay. But when you're in the house, when your mom and dad are there, the teacher is going to say something correct. Because yeah. you know if not, he will be fired. Yeah. So every time... <laughs> okay. I have a point in there. I have uh, a point in there. Because okay. in school, mm-hmm. like Come she said, baby. we have like mm-hmm. 18 or 17 some in the classroom. Yeah. We have students mm-hmm. who want to learn. Mm-hmm. And we have a student who don't want to learn. Yeah. The ones that doesn't want to learn they mm-hmm. are the one who is disturbing the ones who want to learn mm-hmm. because we can say hey, we have a bad friends among us mm-hmm. that they don't want to learn they come to school because of something mm-hmm. or they say because the school uniform is nice or they come with the, like boys or the teachers mm-hmm. okay but in homeschool Hey, and the um, how's to call it? Mm-hmm. Homeschool, yeah. exactly. Uh, what she said, like the teacher, like she used to tell you correctly. Mm-hmm. Not always. Yeah. Not always. Some people they like money. Mm-hmm. Maybe they may tell you is this. Well, it's not that yeah. because teachers are more educated each other. Okay, yeah. You know that. Mm-hmm. So it's not like um, for me. I prefer. Going, going to, school. to school and it seems yeah. like i'm um, going to school we have more teachers than home schools and actually i think going to school you have a feature yeah you're going to have many things yeah okay blocking. okay i can give some opinions i think that yeah, are good for home and for schooling what is good like they were saying about the teachers bad teachers yeah. when you're at the house you're alone yeah yeah and if the teacher threatens you mm-hmm. you can tell your parents and they can fire the teacher Definitely. immediately because you are the only one there mm-hmm. and it's only one teacher yeah but if it's at the school you're the only one who is complaining yeah they won't Nobody do anything yes. yes unless the full class complains mm-hmm. yeah but the thing is that and it's very really hard for um if it's very hard when there is a problem for an individual for a full, full class, class to to be complaining but hadn't been is affecting all the um, um the students that's the time you see students complaining mm-hmm. so this is also correct anyway and also in school not everybody learn the same speed yeah so when we are example the teacher is learning teaching fast mm-hmm. the people who can learn fast yeah. will learn fast and the ones who learn slow, slow. will be still behind and mm-hmm. they will be wasting the times of the people who learn fast oh, definitely so that's uh, that's a bad thing in school also anyway um do you, t- do you think you have something to put yeah, yeah. What, she's, what he said is yeah. something is good but the thing we are talking about right now yeah. is going to school. Yeah. Going to school have a lot of advantages Definitely. and disadvantages mm-hmm. because there's all the students yeah. are there. They don't 
want to learn. Yeah. They are using their mom money mm-hmm. for nothing or yeah. their parents' money for nothing. Mm-hmm. And those who want to learn, mm-hmm. let them come over to learn. They are the one who make their a mom and their parents to yeah. be happy. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about the fathers. Yeah. I'm talking about the mothers yeah. because the mothers <laughs> are the one who is suffering for their children to yeah. to be to success. Uh, uh, in, to, be su- to become successful. Yeah, in future. Yeah. But today in this generation now, mm-hmm. if you didn't go to school, you are nowhere to be found. Really? If you didn't have, if you I are have not educated, I not been to school, but I'm found. No, if you're not educated, <laughs> you are nowhere to found. Because I can say, Alhamdulillah, when we are going to finish grade twelve, yeah, we oh my God, we are going to have a good result in our hands. <laughs> we, we, are you trying to mock her or what? No. no. Look at in home school, you are not going to have that. But going to. How do you feel? Her. How do you feel about her speech or whatever she is trying to put across? Actually, I still prefer homeschool. Because mm-hmm. anyway, look even in the classes, you can see all the students will hate the English teacher yeah. or the French teacher because mm-hmm. even the students will end up by knowing that the teacher is not saying something that is true. Yeah. Or else, you will see all of the students when they come out, they will be like, hey, this teacher in the class is mm-hmm. only mm-hmm. that we understand <laughs> nothing. And they will never tell the teacher because they will never have the advantage to tell the teacher. Because they are scared the teacher will Definitely. beat them. Yeah. But when he's at the house, if you don't understand, you will ask the teacher. Mm-hmm. And the teacher will not just tell you, why do you ask me and take the, uh, just something and beat you. Yeah. He will not do that. But when he's in the class mm-hmm. and you are asking, no, I don't understand this. No, I don't understand this. No, you don't talk clearly. Talk louder. The teacher will be like, hey, don't mabu gaya. So you see what I'm talking about? You know what? I'm going to come in there. I'm going to come okay, in there. You, you cool. see the difference between go to school and home school? Yeah. Your teacher is not going to beat you at home because you're staying with your parents. Yeah. Going to school, they're going to flock you. Yeah. Seriously, so that you can learn. Yeah. But some people, huh, if they see the teacher, that's mm-hmm. the time they'll start. Really? Because you, the teacher, you are threatening the student. Yeah. If so they, that means what I mean is saying to me, I prefer homeschool because there yeah. you will have more advantage to, you know, ask without beating. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you beat someone, you trying to um, t- um, push them out. But like, if you are talking to students, like if they done something bad, you encourage them. No, don't do that. Do this. It's, it means you are pushing them in for them to be aware. No, no, because going to school, because some, some students, they yeah. don't want to learn unless the teacher beats you so that you can learn. And I think those who doesn't want to go, um, I think, go to school. Don't go to school. Um, if, if you don't like going to school, want to learn, yeah. then the teacher is not going to beat you. Anyway, um, Ami, and anyway, even if the teacher beats you, also that makes you scared of asking him questions. Mm-hmm. So you learn less. Yes. And also, <laughs> and also, when the teacher is not beating you, but he is telling you something that you know, you know that you want to learn it, then you'll be focused on it. People that doesn't want to learn, even when the teacher beats them, it changes nothing. And all what they will keep on saying is this bad teacher, I'll never learn from him. Even when you're angry, tell her, hold up, 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 hold up. You even, you even tell me, even when you're at school and your teacher beats you, force you to do something, what do you say? I'm never going to do it. Never. Obviously, I did it because he's giving me instructions to do it so I'm doing it if I didn't do it it's my future because he already finished school yeah. he do, he have what he ever what he have but for me I am not I don't even begin but it's possible that that teacher was never beaten and now he's beating you or threatening you, know, you we have a teachers we have different kind of teachers yes calm teachers aggressive teachers and wicked teachers yes so calm teachers and among these three which one do you like for me <laughs> I like the ones is very calm uh-huh. yeah okay calm. so yes Okay, so now you like the ones that are calm and you are telling us that homeschool ones are too calm and also they should be beating you at school. Wait a minute, the thing I'm saying is that students they don't want to learn. So you must beat them so that they can learn. But beating is not a solution. But if if you don't want to learn, hey, Musu, if you don't want to learn, whatever they do, if you you are not interested in it, your mind is not on it, you can never learn. It except if you grow up and you want to learn, and you know, now really this was important in my life, then you will learn it as fast as you can. But if you don't want to learn something, you will not learn it. The uh, teacher, you know, yeah. wait a minute, uh, yeah. you know, the, some teachers, Camera, you, you know, what some teachers always say that 
yo so buku te janga yeah. you know suma class you buka janga then talk mm -hmm. you know because yeah. you are talented what does student. that mean actually means that mm -hmm. if you want to learn mm -hmm. you can stay if you don't want to learn yeah. get out from my class you know but at home you know at home it, it must be a force for you to learn because your parents are paying and they must see that teacher and whenever your teachers come your parents will force you to go and learn but in the case of school you know, teachers can send you out whilst your parents are not even aware and you will never tell your parents that today this so so, -so teachers send me out from, from, from his or her class. That means the um, student is wicked. The student? He, 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 he or her is not helping the parents. Really? If the teacher <coughs> is telling you to do, <coughs> to <coughs> get out from the <laughs> class, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> so okay. you are the one, you are the one learning, yeah. not him. He is teaching you. Go to your parents. They are they are the one giving money, not the teacher. Yeah. The teacher only have what to do is learning. Mm -hmm. Go to your parents, tell them that. So much teacher, that's my dad. My mm -hmm. teacher take me out of the class because what? He said that talking in class, or he beat me in talking in class, or he said that I was doing something, I was not doing something. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Anyway, even if the teacher uh, takes you out, it's your own fault because mm -hmm. you are the one that have been touching, talking there. That means you don't want to learn. Mm -hmm. You are the one that was playing around. You don't want to learn. Mm -hmm. Laughing at the teacher. You don't want to learn. Mm -hmm. Even when the teacher sends somebody out, you know that the person does not want to learn because if you want to learn, you'll be focused on it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, you will just be doing... <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. There are many people in going, uh, when they are going to school. Mm -hmm. Till now. They are, what, like... Um, our president, I don't better. Yeah. Who told him not to learn? He learned because he want to do. He want to have something yeah. in future. But I don't know went to school. Yeah, yet he still, he's making mistake. Uh -huh. Yeah, no way. Uh -huh. He went to school. Don't you know that Ami Kolo could be better than um, than, than than um than him? No, because he cannot hold the country. Position. He cannot hold it, and then he never wished that he can be a president. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yeah. He go to school. He have everything that what he have want, what he want to have today. Mm -hmm. But if you're in homeschool, how can you have what you want to have? It could be. You know, yeah. but anyway, let, let me hear agree. from you. But actually, even when you're in the house, you can have very good things, and also you can have a very good future. It's not only being a president. No, take care of your whole country is the only thing on earth, mm -hmm. and being president is one of the most boringest thing ever in the world because everybody will know your name you have enemies you have people that doesn't like you, you have people that want to kill you you can be a musician you can do other things and you can be happy in your own life make a great family and you can t even teach your kids because you did homeschool even when you're homeschool doesn't mean like you need to go to europe space to go and make Things Money like that. No, you just make him happy life. Happy life. Make My beautiful audience. Wait, wait, Homeschool. Wait, 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 let me tell you something. For me, yeah. to be honest with you, parents, yeah. please take your your daughter to or your school. son to school. Mm -hmm. ah. I think that is the best. <laughs> Rather than sitting at home with the one in a day because in the school we have And do you know that do, do you know that now many school students are very idle. If you yeah. observe it, many students are very idle and if you are at home and your parents have money for example, they can control that they can give you whatever you need for you to study at home and if they have the money also they can take you out for outing mm -hmm. for you to see. So I don't know um if you are at home and your parents are doing this for you and you are going to school but yes still um you know you are idle there you're not focusing you are just focusing on friends in fact not good friends but bad friends yeah. so what do you think um we can control what do you think we can do anyway um ami is leading from my observation i i, I don't know about musi though i like your name musu mm -hmm. but to be honest i don't know i don't know what would be my audience um i don't know how my audience is, is gonna take it well you can just comment below sis 11 and sis 16 so if you think 11 years old chai is able to win this debate let's support and if you think musu is the best also do your comment and yes and what also musu mean to say if you have a poor family mm -hmm. the kid should never learn because yeah. she's in school school is expensive for poor families yeah. so you can even do homeschooling it's better we have many people are poor in this country mm -hmm. but their children are going to school they are doing yeah. everything mm -hmm. so that they can their children so that they can learn mm -hmm. but 
how can you if a poor person have it how do if a poor person mm-hmm. say that i'm going to take you for study classes so this Oh, I'm sorry. Studies uh, yeah, classes. Is, yeah, at home. Where will you take that money from? Mm-hmm. Where are you going to sell yourself or sell your things so that your um, daughter can learn? We have your government school. Take your son, he or her, to school because yeah. you're not paying. You can only give he or her lunch. Yeah. Bec- yeah. But you do understand? you also think that lunch also is expensive than school fees? Oh my God! You can eat <laughs> in the house and you give your child five dollars. Yeah. Five dollars. Yeah, five dollars. <laughs> Okay, you, if they give you five dollars, you go to school. Do you think that will feel something in your stomach? <laughs> because, yeah, because I am eating in my house. Yeah. My stomach is but full. The audience are saying they want to see a face. See, look at, look at. I am eating in my house. Yeah. So, you and my parents, because I know that they didn't have money. Yeah. I can manage on my five dollars to yeah. go to school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will not beg anyone mm-hmm. unless my mind is, um, my mind uh, is in something. I say, like, can you please give me something? It's not a big deal yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. But my mom didn't have money. So you want me to tell my mom that I need a study teacher. And why are you also not helping your parents mm-hmm. into that? Yeah. So, so. Also, when if your parents learn, they can teach you. It's not only teachers and teachers that they take from outside to teach others can only teach kids. Parents can teach kids because those people that are teaching others, some of them are even mothers and fathers. Mm-hmm. So those more than your mom and your father can teach you as long as the others can come from their house, go to the school, come from their house, go to another house to teach somebody. If you are in your own house, you teach your own kid, it will be better. Because anyway, you need to go and buy, you need even go to buy and books for your kids, yeah. take them to school, uh-huh. play the school. <laughs> And also, look, hey, in Gambia, there are a lot of Rossies. You take people, they tell you, yeah, it's free. At the end of the month, they tell you, boy, don't offer 500. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 what she said. I'm very happy what she said about that. Because what she said. You're yeah, so frank about that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm very happy about that. Because what she said, like, thy parents that can um, teach their daughter. Yeah. Some parents are lazy. Some, Some parents, parents lazy. didn't want to be near with their children. Mm-hmm. They decided to give money to others so yeah. that they uh, their daughter can learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but so if your daughter come, school. mommy, yeah. can you please help me with my homework? That papa. papa. You go to your papa. How can your 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 daughter or your son can be closer to you yeah. as a parent mm-hmm. or as a mom? Yeah. You too. You go to your father. Daddy, can you please help me? Uh, my homework. That must say yeah. Say yeah, me for out. How can they? The the child cannot have like have a lovely conversation with you, mm-hmm. and that he will, he or her cannot learn about that yeah. unless he go outside. That's mm-hmm. why many of us like. Many of us, yeah. we have our homework in our hands. Yeah. Like, if they go home, um, example, Shara, can you please help me with my homework? What are, we, what are you doing yesterday? Mm-hmm. Actually, let go. Well, they're lying. They didn't tell you the truth. Or watching movie. Yeah, watching movie. Mm-hmm. And also, some parents, they didn't help their children. Yeah. Tell me why. Why? Because homeschool, mm-hmm. you're in homeschool. You're learning. But also, when, when your learning is done, mm-hmm. you are watching TV. Yeah. I understand yeah. you're watching TV mm-hmm. the next day too your teacher come you're also learning you say yes teacher is this and this but when the teacher go home mm-hmm. yes and uh, you're watching you, television you your, your parents your own parents will not tell you that can you please pack your books aside mm-hmm. and hold your books because we are putting money on that yeah. thing okay. you are not the one putting money we are the one help us so in going to school mm-hmm. hmm, I don't know but some <laughs> others some others they don't like to study. Yeah. This beef him and join prime. Yeah. Join prime. As far as they are done. I'm not supporting Joe Prime, we show you I that. am not supporting <laughs> I am not saying that I am supporting my own going to school. No. Yeah. I am saying that if you when you are from school, yeah. hold your books. Join prime will not benefit you. Definitely. You are the one who is going to benefit yourself. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow you buy television. You and buy anything, house, anything do everything. Yeah. Times don't wait for human beings no, in this generation. No in this generation, so are you trying to advise or you are trying to advocate? No. no. I'm <laughs> trying to advocate. And also, hey, look, when you're in homeschool, mm-hmm. you do what you should do. It's not also all kids should be studying every time. You never have time for yourself.
But if you are interested in learning, after doing what you will do, you take your book, focus, read, till you know, yeah, now I'm tired, it's time to have time for myself. Then you can put the book aside mm-hmm. and go and watch your television or do something that you know you like. Because even if you're studying every time, yeah, it makes your mind even not to work properly. At yeah. the end of the day, you have headache. Yeah. Even you it- yourself. You go to school, but you don't like maths. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know, not all students like maths. Yeah. They know that maths is very difficult. Mm-hmm. In this mm-hmm. world, mm-hmm. some that's people that... Uh, well, hold up. I that's know. why, because maths is very difficult, and that's why you hate your math teacher. Yeah. No, <laughs> to be honest with me, I didn't hate my math teacher. Yeah. I, I, my, um, the subject I like mm-hmm. mostly is not maths, so, to be but, honest. But, but do you like doing mathematics at home? Actually, mathematics, if you are doing it at home, mm-hmm. is sometimes boring, but most of the time, you can do it comfortably, and you also, your parents is there to help you, because even when the, you know, the uh, English teacher, yeah. sometimes yeah. they don't even teach you math. Yeah. No, sometimes they don't teach you math, like math. Yes. Me. Did she like, like me. Max? Did she like math? She yes, math, I kind of like math. Like- <laughs> but me, yeah, that's with everybody. That's with everybody. You should study. Yeah. If you are like, if you are interested on in it, yeah. if you are interested, in it, you study till you cry. You will not study till you smile. Because yeah. when you are studying till you smile, yeah. that means <laughs> when when you are studying and you are laughing, that means your mind is not even there. Yeah. Your mind is somewhere else. <laughs> I'm having something in home. Then you will be like, oh my gosh, I should do this so that I'll stop crying. Mm. If not, I'll be yeah. crying here till I have complete headache. <laughs> you know what? In homeschool now, yeah. you know she's saying that homeschool, mm-hmm. you you are having study. Yeah. And when your teacher comes, mm-hmm. goes any day that your teacher didn't come, yeah. your mom or your dad is taking you to firm studies. Yeah. And then when he he when it's time for max, mm-hmm. he was like one plus one. You didn't know it. Yeah. One plus one is the easiest thing. Wait, ever. One, plus one, one plus one is just two. Everybody knows. Even a baby that is born right now in the hospital knows it. No, oh, wait a minute. Four. I'm taking it for the example for oh, that. The example. Yeah. One plus one. You didn't know. Your parents were like, they would be surprised. And all the money I was removing, you don't know anything. Yeah. How but it's true that there are some students also. They graduate, they don't know one plus one, honestly. Yeah, huh? and, and yeah they don't know. Yeah, they don't Definitely. Know. You see, this one. is the advantage because homeschool and going to school. But someone at home already mm. know yeah, one plus you know, one. Yeah, you know, we're going to school. Somebody, somebody at home already know one plus one yeah. because the mother will be sending him or her to no. go and send, um, to go and buy um, goods, you know, let's say food or you know. bread, and then you know you need to bring back. Um, you know, some students, the some children, that their, their mind, their mind is no good. You may teach them today. At the end of the tomorrow. day, they forget. Your mm-hmm. parents come and ask you, what is this? The editor of you say, Mom, um, I don't know, but the teacher told me, but I forget. Yeah. That is a disgrace. Your mom will say that I am revo- removing your mo- money. Your, mo- your dad is not here to sponsor me. Mm-hmm. I am the one sacrificing my life so that you can do something. I, give you, I, give, uh, I bring a study teacher for you so that you can focus and close. It's not about that. Mm-hmm. Put aside with your child. Yeah. And then encourage her, he or her. I understand the point she's trying to put across. Anyway, do you have something? Yes. For me, I prefer homeschooling. Because, yeah. okay, uh, in school, mm-hmm. you know what she's saying? She said it's only in school you can have future. Yeah. No, you can be registered in a school and do homeschooling. Mm-hmm. And in exam times, in your grade 9 or grade 12, you can go and do your exams. Yeah. It doesn't mean you have to start grade 1 straight. Mm-hmm. In school, you can start already in grade 9 directly. Yeah. When you do your homeschool until mm-hmm. grade 9 and go, it saves money. Yeah. And uh, also at home, you say helping your mom. Mm-hmm. After In break time, during break time, what we do in school is only chat and yeah. talk and eat. Mm-hmm. And when you're home, you can help your mom from work and do stuff like that. Yeah. From young until grade nine, you're helping your parents mm-hmm. at house. So it's really and important. And also, mm-hmm. as long as you said, the mom will be telling you that I'm hustling yeah. so that you will be something as tomorrow. Mm-hmm. If it's a mom like that, it will definitely force you to go and study. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. she knows what she is doing for you. Yeah. So she will not just tell you, no, go and buy for me something at the market right now. Mm-hmm. She'll tell you, rather, go and study right now. Mm-hmm. I have something for the first school. Because people, when they first go to school, school <laughs> they say, people dodge school. They dodge school. <laughs> the parents are not there to follow oh, the students. Yeah, I have a the point. They are studying. I'm having a point on there. Yeah. Homeschool is somehow good. You're yeah, gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she's coming in. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh my god. What they are saying, what they are saying yeah. is good. But for me, mm-hmm. going to school, I prefer going to school. Yeah. Okay. You still prefer going to school? Because I am not 
the one who said it. I will say it. I'm the one who's taking myself. Are you going to school? Yeah. I mean, are you going to school? I'm just homeschool, and homeschool is the best. Uh-huh. And all. For me, mm-hmm. for me, <laughs> going to school is the best. Now, there's one good thing about school is you get matured. Yeah. Because you matured. see life in a different way. Yeah. At home, you have mostly your parents there for you, but in school, you don't always have your parents yeah. with you, neither your friends. So Definitely. You, you uh, my beautiful audience, I can see this topic is very interesting, and we are so glad to bring, bring this live because we believe that there is a way forward. Um, the only way forward is to remind one another what to do. Um, the idea why we bring this um, debate, um, it doesn't mean that going to school is not good. Of course it is good. But also staying at home also is good. It depends on what you can do best. So if you think going to school is the best for you, please, I would advise you to go to school. But if you also believe that um, the environment is not secure for you, like going to school, you're going to have accident, or you're going to, or your teacher is going to money treat you, or you're going to have someone that is going to force you to do something. If you don't have that much more belief in your teachers, you can stay home and ask your parents to provide teachers for you that will educate you. Nevertheless, um, I know all of you are willing to say something, starting from you. <laughs> okay, this is, I think it's psychological. Yeah. It depends on what you think is best. If you yes. think school is the best, yeah. then you will learn more at school than at house because you... Tell yourself that the house at house you cannot study. Yeah. Then you will not study. Mm-hmm. And if you say studying at house is better, yeah. if you tell yourself studying at house is better, then you'll be and able it, to and study. And also, like I have observed, no matter how you study at home, you end up reading at home. Um, no matter how you study at, at school, you end, you end up being becoming at home because teachers will always advise you home. read read your books at home. Do your homework. Also, even now to go at school is kind of not safe. Look now, you have different stories. A kid was going to school. She or he have been killed on the way. A kid was going to school, she was raped on the way. Mm-hmm. The kid had been going to school, a car hit her or he that and leg then, broke. No, no, no. Exactly. And that yeah. happens yeah, yeah. that happens now a lot. Mm-hmm. You hear Mashallah. different kind of stories. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm wait, 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 wait. So even if you're in the house, you don't have all of those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When it's die time, it comes. Yeah. But also sometimes like if you see a car coming, yeah. you will not right stand at the um at the main road. at the main road so that the car hit you. You come out. <laughs> yeah. So if you can run out from death, mm-hmm. like example those, yeah. if you know everything, mm-hmm. you run away from Definitely. it. So me, I prefer <laughs> being a house because no. I'm just 11 years old and I'm wishing to get more than 11 years old, have a good family, <laughs> can teach my kids, and also a lot of people really appreciate me for my home schooling. Well, look yeah. at today even all the schools that come here that teacher have been telling them look at you guys you are in school even this homeschooling this one that is in homeschool can speak better english than, than them you. and the worst still is i even speak more language than they do yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Funny. Yeah. You know, so how many languages do you speak i speak wolof mandinka french english little bit german spanish chinese and where do you learn all 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 that in the house, homeschooling. Wow. <laughs> this competition is me. No, this competition is me. I'm going to let it be. No, no, no. I also, I also, I also, I speak in the house. You see? How many languages do you speak? I speak it. I go to. Where do you study Indian? At home. <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful audience, you can see, um, it's very interesting and I hope um, VM International TV will be featuring such a program like this um, pro- probably every month we'll be coming here end of month like we come we look at topics that will educate our audience that will educate the kids that will educate our parents and everybody that is watching us um, international level in the Gambia and of course West Africa and wherever you may be these are programs that can that, that we use to brainstorm together you know we love one another we all here we are all one family when you look at Asan of course Ami VM samba, samba. oh sorry Samba <laughs> when you look at Samba um, Ami myself VM and of course my humble sister here you know we are all one family here but look we always love to share ideas and we believe that um one hand cannot clap so joining together 
coming together, you know, alone can educate one another. So let us not um, neglect one another's idea. Going to school is good, and of course, staying at home also is very good. But depending on what you want, if you really want to learn, you will learn. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you are at school or at home or at the street. You can be at the street learning, you can be at school learning, you can be at home learning. So believe in yourself and believe that, yes, we all can do something. First of all, um, Samba, let's start it from you before we conclude. I want to know whether this program, do you think it's it needs sponsors so that we can continue doing what we're doing to inspire other people that are going to school, other people that are still at home not going to school, other people that are still worrying, um, blaming their parents that uh, my parents is not helping me. You know, we can give them hope. We can give them light here. So I believe that we can do it. So do you think this, in, this program is very important for us to keep on doing? Yeah, I think it's really important. Dude. How? Why? Because uh, when people look at the video, mm -hmm. they will be thinking, yeah, this is true. Mm -hmm. What they are saying is all true. So it gives ideas that they have, haven't have thought about. Yeah. So it's really important. I think it's really a good thing to continue Definitely. on doing this. Definitely. And of course, um, Ami, I know this is your first time of having debate, but you won for the first time. Mm -hmm. Again. I won. Uh, <laughs> I won this. Yeah, of course. Hey. Yes. Who's going yes. is the no. best. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. You know. I mean, you know, I told them. You know, I know, I told you that. You know, I told them we are Nafikos here. So we are the winners. <laughs> so we are the winners. <laughs> no, 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 we are the winners. So who? I am the winner. No, I thought it's um, it's Musu. No, no, uh, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> it's me. It's me. Okay, guys. So we want to see who is the winner. You just write and just like it, and we see you just contact VM yeah. and tell him who is the winner, and make sure to write it and come and show us. Yeah. <laughs> I will beat you. I will knock you off. No, no, so no, finally, no. before you go, what do you have for the audience? Because I'm just gonna tell them thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope also it will give more and more people like to keep watching, to keep yeah, yeah watching, watching and, and also following and learning more yeah. about of it, and also. Just like being happy to look at it also like if you want to do homeschool you do homeschool if you want to do um well, going to, to, school, go to school you go to school mm -hmm. it just stays on you for anything that like you want to learn but i prefer homeschool homeschool all right mm -hmm. thank you very much uh we still come back down to uh, my mm -hmm. sister called musu she have the most beautiful name if you know that you are a musu well, well, watching me. of course ami <laughs> ami is just yes, adorable <laughs> <laughs> okay, we come back to you. Okay, well, I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for watching this um, beautiful show. show. And then I'll uh, next time I will like you guys to comment. Yeah. And also this um, show is very interesting because today in this world we don't know what our uh, our um, child or children are doing. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, I prefer going to school. I think that is the best. And then also. I'm telling you guys to watch it back on your children while they are going to school because some people they are not going to school because they are going for boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. So thank you so yeah. much guys. We love, love you. Love yeah, you have something to say finally. Okay, for the audience, this is really important. I'm very handsome. This, I'm from work, okay? I'm very handsome. Thank you. Thank you for making this possible. Okay, um, I will not go. We will not go without giving thanks to um, Kama Kamara yeah. for um, being there um, because without him, I don't think we will be live on VM International TV. And of course, this is VM Kids Show. Um, remember, we are coming up with full force because we believe that we can do it. Nobody can stop us because we believe in our destiny. So if you also believe in your destiny, definitely you will make it and nobody's going to stop you. So we hope that we will come back another time. But also, um, you can follow us live on YouTube. Most of our full videos will be published live on YouTube. So therefore, subscribe if you are watching us on YouTube. Um, subscribe and turn the bell so that whenever we publish a video, um, if you are not the first, you will not be the last to watch our activities. And if you really want to learn, do subscribe. And of course, if you are watching our highlights on Facebook, please remember to go down to YouTube and watch it. Remember to also watch us on um, VM International TV on 
um, 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 Instagram as well. To be honest, um, uh, our cameraman have did well, and of course, I want to congratulate both of you. You both are brilliant and of course beautiful. Um, let me remind you, education will make you shine even if you look ugly facially. <laughs> so if you really want to look shining and you want the world to look at you and you want to be a good role model, look upon on yourself and change the negative things in you and bring back the positive. And before we go, what is your last message to the people? All I want to say is don't forget to like and subscribe and touch the ring and bell below. Yeah. Finally, we say, yeah. can we all say goodbye? Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. goodbye. We're going to miss you. Bye-bye. Bye. Adios. See you later. Love you. Adios. Bye, VMSO. Mbali fe kano lela, VM so mbali fe udalo lela, VM so alna na njia nimbi sala wala kano fangole dunta na ni njia so tumbu, VM so mbali fe kano lela, muna VM mbe fe udalo lela, apa chaki ala follow de wobita ondi ngi ngi, VM so watu tigede ala bulu kundi ngo diki jalka follow wole rindi ngi ngi, ala bulu diki jalka follow de VM so. Nyancho BJ, Djox BJ, VM BJ. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share our videos.